It's my feel good breakfast show. <laughs> Call us on your cell phone. Call and Mary Hotline Bling. That can only mean one thing. Can any of you sing? I, I have no I musicality. Cannot. <laughs> no, but what you can do is cook, and it's the mm -hmm. culinary hotline 021-4309-886. We might have time to squeeze in one more call, but let's take some of our questions online to task here. Mm. Um, we had a question coming in here, or a, a lamentation coming from Vanessa yeah. Timmy Lee saying, my scones never rise nice and high. Uh, wah, 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 wah. Wow. Why? How, what is she doing wrong? Okay, so you're probably over mixing, and when you're rolling out your scones, you're rolling too thin. Also, actually, I say never actually put a roller to a scone. Use the patting motion. So pat it, and as high as you want it, make sure that um, you, you only pat it to that height. So if they start off nice and high, they're going to only rise nice much high. higher. Exactly. Clever. And the measure of a really good scone is if you actually don't need a knife to break it in oh, half. Oh, it's breakability. So can you see how it, it has a natural line? Rift line, yeah. So all you're supposed to do, actually, this is an etiquette thing. So whenever you go for high tea, please uh, don't cut your scone because the people in, on the table will be like, mm, Really? Where did they yeah. come? Yeah, they so weren't taught very well. You so you find the little San Andreas you find, fault. Yeah, you there find you the actual natural break Boom. and you break it in half, just like this. Boom. Yo. And that's what she probably wants from the rise in her scone. And then you use some clotted cream. Yes, it's Chad, Ooh. our kitchen elf, was on the money this morning. I mean, look at morning. this how Dude. delicious and a few berries. And look at this. Who could yeah. go wrong? So you're yeah, making like, like you're making it for yourself. Uh, uh, also, <laughs> I, I am. Can I also mention something? When you roll it out or when you pat it out, when you push it down with your cookie cutter, mm. don't turn it like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Because you make the, the dough sort of... Yeah, stick the, the, to itself. Yeah, stick to itself because that's also going to influence the rice. So just pull it out softly in the tray and love and care. It like a baby. A absolutely. Love and baby. And then care. one more tip to make sure you get the maximum rice is when you glaze your scones mm. with egg wash or milk, make sure you don't let it run down the side because that also makes it stick. Uh, to I didn't the know bottom. that. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Yes, I'm so you guys glad are I could teach you some. teaching each other things. This is amazing. My mind, I think I'm running out of grey matter here. You, you're actually blowing my mind. So, we've got another question coming through here from Hocha Mayberg. Um, good morning, Expresso team. Morning, Hi, Hocha. Hocha. We love you too much. Um, she's asking, or well, he or she is asking, does pork need oil when baked? It all depends what type of um, pork you're using. We are using fillet of the pork now, but if you use like a boat, like a big um, roast, okay. you don't need oil. You can just rub it in if the fat layer is there. I was going to say, because it, it does in. come with its own little yes. layer of fat. And yeah. what I've also done before is I cut the skin off, I've seasoned my pork, the big boat, and then I put oh, the... Nice. And then I... Boat. boat. Let's get boat. I love it. I put Meg. this in the <laughs> oven, the boat there, and then it will be a rack on top, and then I put the skin on top. Ooh. So the drippings of the skin oh, will go onto the pork. Word. And I teach you something. You just taught me something. Oh, yeah. Self-basting, delicious. Yeah, yeah. So, But if you've got a fillet like that, there's not a lot of fat on it. So what I'll do, I will definitely add a little bit of oil to it, and then I'll season it with salt and pepper. Because pork is, is it's a far less expensive option. It's yeah. such a healthy meat. Mm, yeah. I mean, for people who are training and looking for a protein that's assimilated into the body yeah. really well, they say pork is, is one of the easiest for our body to, yes. to absorb. And what's also nice is pork, what goes very well with it, it's fennel. So you can grind a bit of fennel mm. seeds, put over it, or a bit of rosemary, but like strong herbs, mm. like thyme and rosemary and all those strong ones. And so what we're going to do, we're going to put this in a pan and you're going to sear it on all the sides. And then you can put it in the oven at about, say, 180 degrees for about 20 minutes if you've got that, the whole fillet. Yeah. And let it rest. The big important thing is to let it rest. And then you'll have a perfect pork. Mm. Serve it with a bit of mustard on the side. Mm. Yeah. Mash. I always yes. know when my mouth starts salivating too much for me to actually talk without spitting all over the food. It's time to close the lines. Oh. Oh, ladies, thank you so much. You have taught me so much. Thank you for reigniting my passion for yes. food. I'm going to go home and cook for the whole rest of today. And, guys, thank you so much for those awesome questions. You guys really are switched on this morning. Ladies, thank yeah. you so much. Please, what please, happened to my fillet? Oh, there. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, please, 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 please. You can now dream about a boat of pork with crackling. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Give me a slice there. Mm. Delicious. Only you can make my day.